Good morning students I am Pawan your science master Students did you remember in your 6th standard you studied about different changes taking place around us Did you remember the name of the chapter you studied about this Yeah changes around us Students you see different changes taking place around us changing seasons is also one of them okay in your 6th standard you studied about some uh, fast changes and slow changes and permanent changes and temporary changes you know different changes take place around us that you studied in your 6th standard just you please recollect and because of the changes of seasons we wear different types of clothes you know you wear cotton clothes in uh, summer season and you wear woolen clothes in winter season and why why to wear this type of clothes because of changing the seasons and along with the season especially in the season what is changing what is changing why to wear woolen clothes and dark color clothes in winter season and why to wear light color and cotton clothes in summer season to understand this we have to understand about a concept in science that is temperature okay why to wear different changes of clothes according to the different seasons according to the changes of seasons because what is changing along with the seasons temperature is changing along with the seasons what is changing temperature is changing students what are we going to learn in this video heat and temperature what are we going to learn heat and temperature students in winter season we feel very cool even inside the house and we try to come and sit in sun and to get our body warm understood and even in summer season if you think we feel hot even if we are inside the house understand and this is because of what changing seasons so along with the seasons what is changing there temperature is changing and heat and temperature is the concept that we are going to learn in this video students okay students one thing that you need to remember i wanted to do the independent video which makes you understand complete concept in the same video students if you want to learn the concept you please watch complete video and learn the concept in the same video students if you feel bored students you please watch 10 minutes today and remaining tomorrow and remaining day after like that you watch the same video for several times and you can understand the whole concept that what you need to learn in this standard okay students and here uh, to understand what is temperature there we need to do some activities to understand this we need to collect different objects that are cool and that are hot okay see what are the objects cool what are the cold objects that you can understand ice creams right ice creams are very cool and fruit juice and these are all the cold items yes and if you take other items like other things other objects like you know if you keep a chair in hot sun this is the winter season right you try to come and sit in sun and if you keep the chair in hot sun and if you touch the chair you feel what hot and and you try to drink tea coffee etc right and how do you feel while you are drinking you feel cool or you feel hot you feel hot while drinking coffee or tea yes or no yes 
so to understand you know what is temperature we need to do such kind of activities to get to know what is heat and what is temperature okay got it this variation it's nothing but the variation in the degree of hotness you would like to you know you try to eat hot food during winter season right and you would like to drink cold water in summer season and sometimes you feel very cool and sometimes you feel mild cool and while you are eating food sometimes you feel very hot and sometimes you feel mild hot so the variation the variation you should understand you can observe the variation of degree of hotness while doing these type of activities so while you are drinking cold drinks you can see the variation of degree of hotness and while you are eating food also you can see some variation of degree of hotness the variation you remember that variation of degree of hotness remember degree of hotness is nothing but temperature students what is temperature temperature is the degree of hotness or degree of hotness or coldness got it degree of hotness or coldness is temperature students in this video have you got this point what is temperature temperature is nothing but degree of hotness or coldness of the objects or the things whatever it is okay got it and you feel how do you feel how do you get it know whether it is hot or whether it is cold like that when you touch and feel okay when you touch it and you feel that students to know the degree of hotness or the degree of coldness of any object do you think is it enough to touch and feel to know the degree of hotness and coldness of that object do you think only touching and feeling is enough no right if you are wearing dark colored and woolen clothes you feel warm and if you remove those clothes how do you feel you feel cool right there what are you losing you are losing your body temperature you know the temperature is transferred from your body to the atmosphere your surroundings or the object that you are touching or feeling so here you are losing your body temperature when you lose your body temperature you feel cool okay so in winter season we wear woolen and dark color clothes because to protect the temperature body temperature to retain inside the body itself if the temperature is present as same as it is inside the body we feel little warm you know what is the body um, what is the normal body temperature of a human being 37 degrees celsius right and that all you will study in your coming classes but that is not the point here we have to protect the temperature not to lose okay we have to protect by wearing dark color clothes and woolen clothes so then we can protect the body temperature from losing okay got it so then we feel very warm to feel warm we have to protect our body temperature we should not lose our body temperature right so that is the logic and if you see that the temperature in summer season body temperature and 
atmospheric temperature and your surroundings temperature there is a difference where is the temperature more whether the temperature is more in the surroundings or in your body the temperature in surroundings is more than your body so then you feel very hot so the temperature where it's more that is transferred from high degree of temperature to low degree of temperature okay so this is the logic behind or the the the, the feel that we are feeling you know that cool and that's hot like that so this is how we need to understand that coldness and hotness feelings the logic behind the feelings that we are feeling like this okay got it and students we can do some activities to understand what is degree of hotness and coldness you know if we touch something the thing if it is cold or if it is hot and uh, we just estimate whether it is hot or cold we can just estimate okay and just estimating of the temperature of that object is not enough to determine the degree correct level of the degree uh, correct level of temperature or correct degree of hotness or coldness of that object students to understand uh, what that uh, exact degree of coldness and hotness we have to what measure what we are what we have to do we have to measure the degree of hotness or coldness that's nothing but temperature okay how to measure it so before learning that all you know how can we measure the degree of hotness or coldness of the objects or materials let us do a small activity here what is that activity is the activity here you have to take three different vessels and three uh, you know different degree of hotness of or coldness of water in these three different vessels okay you take three vessels in first vessel you take uh, hot water and in second vessel you take lukewarm water and in third vessel you take cold water got it and now what you have to do is you have to keep these uh, three of the vessels on the table in front of you and you try to put your finger in hot water your right hand finger in your uh, hot water and left hand finger in cold water you know you have to put this two fingers right hand Uh, finger and left hand finger in this both vessels simultaneously you please keep your fingers in the hot water and cold water simultaneously and you try to feel it and immediately uh, you take your fingers out and immerse your both the fingers in the lukewarm water got it and can you determine exactly that whether you are feeling hot or cold you cannot exactly determine that whether you are feeling hot or cold like that right so there will be some confusion so to avoid uh, uh, such kind of confusions to estimate what the temperature of different objects or materials there you need to use some devices to measure the degree of hotness or coldness of the materials got it students yeah how can we measure and how can we uh, use the units of the degree of hotness or coldness and all we will study in this chapter students okay and moreover next there is another side heading that you need to understand that heat is a form of energy okay what is heat you need to understand what is heat okay heat a form of energy see students to understand heat is a form of energy 
you take some water in a bowl and put the bowl on the flame and wait for some time and keep the mouth of the bowl closed by the lid first of all and after some time you see that the lid you know moving up and down slowly did you ever observe this why who is moving that while you know while you are boiling water the lid over the bowl moves up and down and it makes some sound that bubbling sound you know yes and some fumes coming out from the bowl you can see that right you can see that so here by heating it you know by heating the bowl in the water in the bowl that water is broken into small droplets and the droplets come into atmosphere and that heat is pushing out of the bowl the heat is pushing the broken water droplets out into the atmosphere okay and in the process the bowl the lid over the bowl is moving up and down right this is how we can understand heat possess some energy okay got it and heat is also a form of energy i said right and there are different forms of energies present energy is neither created nor destroyed it's constant in the nature that you remember students energy is neither created nor destroyed energy is changed from one form to another here heat is one of those forms got it heat is a form of energy got it and <clears throat> you know that uh, for example you take uh, during the day time we see the objects around us because of sunlight light is also a form of energy right and that's solar energy the primary source of energy in the nature is sun that you remember students it's a primary source of energy in our you know in our system in the nature and sun gives sunlight and heat light and heat right light is a for light is also a form of energy heat is also a form of energy transformation of the energy from light solar light light energy to uh, you know electric energy electric energy and uh, you take electric energy is converted into again light energy and you take uh, while you are <coughs> you know you take thermal power stations thermal power plants you know electricity producing stations they produce electricity by heating coal so heat is converted into electric energy and even sometimes you know electric energy is produced by float of water while the water flowing the you know that movement of the water the water is in motion right that the movement of water that is moving from one point to another point right one place to another that is kinetic energy that kinetic energy is converted into electric energy they generate electricity by the flow of water right hydro power plants okay and even if you switch on the light the electric energy is again converted into light energy so here on the whole you can understand heat is a form of energy and energy is constant neither created nor destroyed and it is transferred from one form to another got it next conversion you know i already told you few points about the conversion of heat
energy. You know, I taught you, right? Uh, energy is in different forms. The energy is converted from one form to another. Okay? Light energy to, uh, you know, uh, electric energy, electric energy to mechanical energy, mechanical energy to, you know, if you are riding a bike, you know, if you are riding a bike, the fuel inside the tank that is combusted, that is burnt, okay? So that, uh, you know, the, what is the fuel used in a bike? You know, petrol. Petrol is a chemical substance, right? It is burnt. So again there that uh, chemical energy is converted into heat energy because petrol is a chemical, right? Chemical is a chemical has some energy in it that is chemical energy and then chemical energy is burned, you know, the chemical energy is converted into heat energy. So here we need to understand what conversion of energy. Energy is constant that's neither created nor destroyed. You cannot create, I cannot create. The energy is by default, it's created by the nature itself. Okay? Students, the energy is converted from one form to another. Different forms of energies are there in the nature and they are uh, converted from one form to another. This is the basic concept that you need to understand in this chapter, student. And the best example if you want to do, you know, you just rub your hands. If you rub, you know, the process of rubbing, you know, that's mechanical. You are doing for granted, that's mechanical. The process of rubbing your hands is mechanical process. That's mechanical energy. When you, uh, you know, after rubbing your hands, if you keep your palms to your cheeks, you feel hot, right? That mechanical energy is converted into heat energy so that that you are feeling hot. Got it? Like this, uh, you have to understand uh, with the different various examples, with the various examples, the heat can be converted, sorry, energy can be converted from one form to another in the nature. Yes, students, here we have to talk about heat and temperature. You know, heat moves from high temperature to low temperature. For example, you take a, a candle, you lit a candle and take one iron rod and hold the iron rod in your hand like this and you put another end of that iron rod on the, the, the candle flame, you know, and keep for some time and it and you keep it for some time, after some time, you slowly feel the iron rod becoming hot. Isn't it? Yes or no? You take a candle, lit the candle, and you hold one end of the iron rod in your hand, and another end you put on the flame. And you keep it for some time, after some time, you feel that iron rod is becoming hot. Got it? And before that you felt cool. The iron rod where you held is hot. But the other, other, you know, that other end you kept on flame, no? What's actually the degree of hotness there? More degree of hotness more where that other end of that candle flame and other end of that iron rod you kept on the flame is very hot due to high temperature there the temperature is you know the degree of hotness is moved towards this end where you held that iron rod got it and you feel that the iron rod is becoming hot so here heat can move from one you know high level uh, uh, temperature to low level temperature got it this is also basic point that we have to understand in heat and temperature chapter 
and most of you students and most of you you know uh, think that heat and temperature are the same words but it's wrong you know what is heat and what is temperature temperature is measure of the heat temperature is the degree of uh, you know the value the level of the temp level of the heat the hotness or coldness you know that you remember students temperature is the measure of the heat of any object or any material got it is there any device used to measure the heat yes of course there is a device that which is used to measure the heat that's thermometer what do we call that thermometer temperature is measured by a device called thermometer so there are different thermometers available in the market the, the type of the thermometer depends upon the type of the body that we are measuring the temperature of that body for example you take materials to measure the materials temperature you need to use a laboratory thermometer and you if you are, if you want to measure the temperature of a living body there you need to use another type of thermometer called clinical thermometer and again in that especially in living bodies you know some infants there very young children you know small kids zero year babies body temperature is measured using another type of thermometer that is called thermistor thermometer and uh, atmosphere temperature atmospheric temperature is also measured by another type of thermometer that's called six maximum and minimum thermometer there are various types of thermometers that we will study in this chapter students got it students uh, the types of thermometers and the construction of thermometer and the parts present in the thermometer and the, st the whole structure of the thermometers or uh, different types of thermometers we will study in the next class students and this is for this video students uh, thank you for listening and thank you one and all